Hi guys, Kevin to the Hedgehog here, and welcome to a collection video. Today's topic is video game books. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, what about video game plushes? Wait till the year 2020, if then we might do that. So, <clears throat> I have quite a few books here, but there is one missing because it's not quite here yet. It's the I think the 25th anniversary Sonic art book. Cook and Becker re-released it and I decided to order it. So I just couldn't wait to show off this collection because I kind of had it in the back of my mind, you know, this idea. Because I have quite a few interesting pieces here. Now keep in mind these aren't all books. Some things are going to be a bit random, like adverts and perhaps other things, so keep watching. So, <clears throat> the first piece that we have here is Mario Mania, one of my personal favorite pieces in my collection. I ended up getting this in a flea market and it is falling apart, but it's got some pretty cool stuff and <laughs> it's got some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, the pages are falling out. Like, these are all the pages that I've ripped out, but this is all that's intact. Thankfully, all the pages are here and accounted for. So despite its condition, this to me, this piece here, is priceless. Like, I've flipped through this book more times than I can count. So the next book is this! Super Mario Odyssey, the art of Super Mario Odyssey. And this is a very good book. I found this at Walmart for the cheapest price you can get it because people on eBay and even Amazon, they charge shipping and tax and it adds up. So I recommend that you pick this up at your local Walmart wherever books are sold. So that way you can get it at the best price. Next, well, set of books are the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess manga. I have three volumes. I have volume one, volume two, and volume three. I've yet to get the rest of the volumes, but these are the ones that I currently have in my collection. And I've yet to read them as well. I need to find time to read books because there are some books that I have over here I've not finished reading yet, like Danny Goki's book and the Ahsoka novel. I have to finish that before the Clone Wars begins so I can stay up to date. Now here's what I mean by random stuff. I decided to show these because I don't think I show these in my Mario collection but these are Happy Meal bags. I mean they're paper just like books so I thought what the heck. So there's one this is a duplicate. Here's a Burger King bag when the Wii is introduced. Oh yeah! This is an ad it says No Yoshi is an Island. <laughs> I think that's really cute. Advert for the Game Boy Advance. It's got some cute artwork in here. You can sign up to get the Nintendo Power Guide for Yoshi's Island on the Game Boy Advance. And here's another ad that has the Super Mario World for Game Boy Advance. Not much artwork is being shown here, but he got some advertisements for GBA accessories. And you can subscribe to Nintendo Power and get yourself a strategy guide. So that's really cool. And McDonald's Mario Challenge. Now this is a very flimsy bag. Back then McDonald's did not have the sturdiest of bags. Oh yeah, since I've written through these, set them there. This next is, I think, a game stop book. It's a holiday guy for, I think, 2014. Or has Super Mario Maker, Smash, Splatoon, Yokai Watch, Amiibo, 
3DS, 2DS, 3DS XL. Got Mario Kart 8, the Wii U, new accessories, more Amiibo. And then we got Games of the Year pretty much to purchase. And then we have our selections here again with some categories to create. We have Animal Crossing, Happy Home Designer, Mario Maker, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Lego Dimensions, Star Wars, Def Disney Infinity. Yeah, if you haven't crossed Amoeba Festival, Mario Party is head. Not so great party games, in my opinion. I also have Pokemon Omega Ruby and Apple Sapphire. And Shovel Knight! And Cheater of a Zip Lash. And you also have some kind of activity for Play Nintendo. Don't exactly show what it's for. It says. Color by numbers of crayons, fill in each number block with the corresponding color. One being blue, two being red, three being brown, four being tan. Hmm, <clears throat> interesting. Then we got again Smash for Wii U. In the back just has some more artwork. And we have a advertisement. I think this is for Walmart. This Mario Kart Wii on here. So I guess that's why I held on to it. It's got some Wii PlayStation 2? What? That's all! Holy crap! Look! PS2 games? Goodness gracious! And then movies. In this book I got a book fair from my brother's school that's that I think went under, but I mean by it went under, I think it went under reconstruction, it's a different school now. But I got it at a book, this at a book fair, it's a Nintendo Dogs, Do You Know Your Dog? A Breed by Breed Guide from by Schooltastic. It's a really cute book where you flip through all these different dogs and out of curiosity, do they have Shizu in here? Because I have a dog that, my dog Silas is a Shizu. Don't seem to have them advertised in this book. Which is a darn shame. Cheezers are the best breed. <laughs> That's just my personal biased opinion. But I have all kinds of dogs in here. Like Chihuahua. German Shepherd. It says get a job. <laughs> Where if they don't have a shoes around here, I'm gonna need that because I like to read. Yes, they do! He says, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> That's adorable. It says, outgoing, affectionate, alert. Oh yes, very affectionate indeed. Anyway, I'm losing track. Probably show this in my Sonic collection, but I'll show it again. It's my first ever Sonic comic book, issue 25 of Sonic X. For the period advertisement of Wizards of Waverly Place. I remember when that show came out, but I never watched it. And here's a customer service ad that I think I picked up at Kmart. It's definitely an old ad. 2001. Dang. Gee whiz. Here's another one that's kind of like it. It's a Game Boy Advance advert that stretches out almost like a poster. Wow. <laughs> All these games that are upside down! <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Man, Game Boy Advance is actually quite a good library of games. Let's see if there are any in here that I played. There's Earth the Acrobat for the GBA. So I don't remember that. We had a link to the past, Yoshi's Island, Metroid Fusion, Gallery Rock, Game to Watch Gallery 4, first Game Boy game. I feel bad that I sold it. We have Crash Bandicoot Huge Adventure. 
We have a SpongeBob King. And we also have Sonic Advance, the Tiny Child Garden being advertised there as well. Really interesting advert. I'll have to fix that later. I have another version of this lying around somewhere. I'm not sure where it's at. I don't feel like digging. But I have a blue version of this book that has different. So, but this was free. And it has all kinds. It's like a freaking book that you can look at the new upcoming games. Like, this is how we got our news and stuff. Take a look here Sonic Heroes. First Sonic game ever played. Soul Calibur 2. Beautiful Joe and Pikmin 2. The GameCube has some of the best games. I really did F Zero GX. I want to play the F Zero games someday. Looking Zelda for Swords. Kirby Air Ride. Final Fantasy. Mario Party 5. 1080 Avalanche. 1080, I have that for the. 64. I'm not sure I still have it though. There's Mario Kart Double Dash. Had to pass that game on to a friend because he really wanted the game. You know, some GameCube accessories. Pokemon to eat cards and all that. Man, this brings back memories. Really cool book. Not sure if you can find that. This is definitely from GameStop. It's an ad for Pro Day sales from November 8th to November 10th. It's got some Link's Awakening merch here, like it's t t-shirt plus Ultra shirt. It's not video game related. Then you have some Amiibo. Some games. PS4. Our PS4 games. Nothing really too special. Still interesting. And I picked this up, I think, during the Black Friday sale. I'm not sure. I don't know if I attended the Black Friday sale this year. I know I did that last year. No, I did not attend this year. It's from 2019. As Marin to the Switch Lite. Some Switch games. Good Switch games. 3DS, Nintendo Selux, so Pokemon Sword and Shield, Pokemon merch, and all that. Some Legend of Zelda stuff. Not sure if they still have some of that stuff for sale or not. And PS4, PSVR, Call of Duty, Overwatch. FIFA, EA Sports, pretty much. Mortal Kombat, have some pretty cool figures there. Of course, Mortal Kombat 11. Xbox, Minecraft, and Xbox One. We have Borderlands merch here. NFS Heat, don't know what that is. Apex, Star Wars, more Star Wars, WWE, Just Dance, some Fortnite, we have some more games, and some random stuff, arcade, Sega Genesis Mini, Minecraft, Look at the Ender Dragon. That plush makes him look adorable. Isn't it kind of funny how the Ender Dragon is with a pig? If you've seen PewDiePie's Minecraft Let's Play, then you might catch some, you know, you might catch a reference there. <laughs> anyway. Bakugan, I'm surprised that's still around. And then we got some advertisements for Five Nights at Freddy's and Benny and Ink Machines. New merch coming out. Like we're getting a freaking ink machine there, that's really cool, and it's only at GameStop. And we have a one-up waffle iron. <laughs> a one-up waffle 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 iron. Goodness. 
I buy a tree, I definitely put that star up. Got some pop figures. Ugly Christmas sweaters. There's a Mario ugly Christmas sweater I really would have loved to have gotten. But, yeah. Spent way too much time looking through that. Weekly ad, I got this because I had Luigi's Mansion 3 on the front. But I was saying, like, you can stuff and save 20% off on all toys and stuff like that. You put them in that bag, get them 20% off. Also advertising Aladdin Lion King on Nintendo Switch. And here's an oldie from 2008. This is definitely a Walmart ad. Advertising Super Smash Bros. Brawl and even the freaking PSP. Like, wow. As Daxter on there, there's apparently an exclusive box, you can, an exclusive console you can get. Like a bundle. And more of you have a Mario Galaxy render there. There's even Chibi Robo advertised in here. Not the GameCube one, it's just Park Patrol. Then we have Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games. And there's Mario Galaxy. Odd how they used a Mario Mario 64 DS render there. Don't know why they chose that. I mean, it's not bad look. It's just I don't know why. If sports games, carnival games. Oh my gosh, I remember that. High School Musical, Night's Journey into Dreams. It's pretty cool. It's some kind of. IGN. This was apparently something of IGN. Some kind of checklist. Hmm. More Mario Slug and Olympic Games. And we have Link there from, I think, Spirit Tracks, I want to say. Oh, Phantom Hourglass, not Spirit Tracks. Doi. The art looks very much similar. They're pretty much the same. Halo 3? My gosh. Thrillville? I remember that. I wonder what on earth is this? It's just a white piece of paper. It makes no sense. Don't know why that's there. That's like a part of it. Xbox 360. Oh my gosh. Ratchet and Clank, to Tools of Destruction, Uncharted. Man. Golden Compass. Remember when that movie came out? I've never seen it. Yeah, in Hannah Montana. There's another! This is from Kmart. Back when it was still alive. This for the Winter Olympics. Little pet shop. Warm Sonic Olympic Winter Games. Yes, it's silver. Oddly enough, those are two of my brother's favorite characters from both Mario and Sonic. So I found that pretty cool. I don't know if the like, coincidence? I think not. <laughs> There's my little pony. Thing that's Gen point three point five. We have Band Hero, iPet, Ratchet and Clank, Future, A Crack in Time. We have some DVDs, Blu-rays, Halo 3, ODST, DJ Hero. I don't remember playing the 51. It was an okay movie. More random games, like these style of games. Drop my life. It's an interesting game. And then we got some DS accessories. And we have PSP, where you can apparently get this interesting little control. Oh no, this is PSP Go. My bad. <laughs> Doi. 
And then I have this family here with Ratchet and then Sackboy and some other dude from Buzz Quiz World. Okay. Now, here we have Spirit Tracks and Kingdom Hearts 358 slept on the half days. I remember when that was advertised. That commercial would air all the freaking time. And they would play the Salt Sanctuary from Kingdom Hearts 2. Definitely remember that. You may have rabbits, go home. Yes, go home, please! <laughs> Sorry to anyone that loves rabbits. Just not my thing. And Star Wars Clone Wars Republic of Heroes. Not a terrible game, just um, for Star Wars, probably would not have played it. You know, a bunch of random movie games. We all saw Club Penguin. EA Sports, War Movies, Fast and Furious, Assassin's Creed 2, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, or DVDs. Wait, is that Blockbuster? No, it's not Blockbuster. <laughs> oh my gosh. And look, there's Silver again in the Grinch. It's that time of year, so why the heck not? Jim Carrey did a great job as the Grinch. He's going to do a great job as Robotnik in the Sonic movie. We have this huge ad for Ninja Gaiden 2 Gigma. That's what it says. Heard of the Ninja Gaiden series and up. Fantastic movie. We Fit Plus. And here we have a magazine of it's called Old School Gamer Magazine. It has artwork of all meat. Like if you open it up like this, it connects. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, of course. Mario, Luigi, Burger Boy, I think. Something. I know it's from some kind of arcade game. I can't put my finger on it, but then there's Pikachu chasing after Pinky. Then we have the Moon Dig Dug enemies forgot. I don't know his name on the top of my head. Crash Bandicoot, Bonk, Chun Li, Bomberman, Alex Kidd, Shantae, Sonic, Hubert, Bink, Blinky, Ghastly, Kirby, and then the Bubble Bobble characters, Goomba, Mega Man. It's really cool. But it just has some interviews and a bunch of other cool stuff they can read about and also apparently something about Happy Meal toys may have Sonic right there <laughs> I remember when those came out Pac-Man at Arby's it's got some really cool bits of history in there picked it up for free and then here's the Super Mario Adventures manga, or comic, by Viz Media. I haven't read it yet, but it looks really cool. Here's some of the artwork in there. Looks like it will be a fun read. And I bought this for a sole reason to look up, you know, and see what kind of Pac-Man merchandise there is. It's an unauthorized guide for Pac-Man merchandise. It's a really cool, fun little book to flip through. You can see, oh, there's a card in here. Interesting. It has some neat Pac-Man merch. Like, look at this. Who knew? Who knew that existed? There's a trash can. Like, there's so much merchandise in here. It's crazy. Look at your small Pac-Man plushes. Man, they're hideous. But I like them. There's also the Pac-Man Fever CD. My dad has that. 
He's listened to that like a bunch of times. Never gets old. Oh, there's a record version? Mmm. That's cool. Now we have a coloring book called Plate Safe and it does have Pac-Man in it. It's from General Mills. Yeah. We'll flip through all of it because I want to spoil everything. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. If I can reach in here, we're gonna get to free my guides, so let's go ahead and start with this. Gex 3, Deep Cover Gecko. I got this from my friend Greg, and it has some old doodles from when he was a kid. I won't show it because I know you'll probably hate me if I showed it to the entire world. Man. And I have Metroid Prime, Metroid Fusion. Got that from Greg again. It's a really cool book. It's got two and one. In this one I got an ER sale for two bucks. It's the Super Mario Galaxy Premiere Edition. Does that have a poster inside? Don't remember. No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, I don't know if I had a poster to begin with. This is a really cool book. And now, let's get Nintendo Power. This is for Twilight Princess and also says Laura Croft Tomb Raider Legend. We have one of Star Fox Assault, Pokemon Destiny Bones. If I remember that movie, I enjoyed it. Another Nintendo Power has Mario Kart. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess one actually had a poster that had, of course, Twilight Princess, but on the other side has Sonic the Hedgehog. And then here's one of these Mario Bros. There is a poster in here. What is this for? I don't know what that is. It says Dalma. I don't know if there's another side to that. Final Fantasy and Star Fox Command. Then we have Contract. Interesting. Looks like an interesting game. Then we have Warrior Wear Smooth Moves. In second opinion. <laughs> what is that game about anyway? Looks like some kind of surgeon simulator type game. Now we have some way available Nintendo Power or not to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Back there, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Shadow the Hedgehog, and why do I have this here? <laughs> this isn't a video game book, this is a Japanese learning book. And I've obviously showed these in my unboxings, but some advertisements to Fangamer. Then all the artwork I got from Fangamer. It's from Iris Young, the age of five. Then we have some Secret of Mono art here by Laura Verdon. Doesn't say her age. Then recently got this Earthbound art. It's really cute. It's done by Shaffer Brown. Then we have two stickers. One of Alphys and Hollow Knight. You know that side down. And aside from the one missing book, or two missing books, one that was like the silver book, and my Sonic um, 25th anniversary art book that's not here yet. And the blue version of this book. That's all. That's all she wrote. So thank you so much for watching. I know this was a bit of an odd video, but I haven't done a collection of video in ages, and they're 
would be kind of a way to showcase you know, some of these books unless I do a video like this. And some people are just only interested in certain pieces of your collection. So I thought I would do that. So I will be doing a video game plush collection soon. Hopefully in the year 2020, you know, after Christmas, because I believe I'll be getting more. So that way my collection will be up to date. And taking everything down will be quite a chore, to say the least. So, again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, share with your friends, and subscribe for more collection videos. My channel's, you know, mainly about video games. I do like anime, but I haven't really talked much about that because I'm more of a video game person. So I do video game videos, you know, collections that theme around video games. I do video game merch videos, talking about video game merchandise, where they came from, and basically you have a little history behind it. It's a documentary, essentially. But anyway, stay tuned for the second nonsense from yours truly, Game Me Chili Hedgehog. God bless. See you next video. Out with the aim.